what's going on with you guys thank you for tapping in with me again today and if you're new to the channel i'm cleveland so guess what we're doing today we're about to upgrade our filter on a 150 right here that's the treat for you all so uh if this is your first time here or if this is the first time you've seen an above the tank sump such as that right there then you're in for a treat because i'm about to upgrade that i'm about to go from that right there which is pretty decent it's fair it's nice for 125 150 but we are going to this one right here now that this is a beast now this is a 100 percent beast i have this right now filtering my 225 gallon aquarium the reason why i want to go ahead and use such a big filter because i want to tap in the 75 gallon as well so i want to have a 75 gallon plumbed into this one as well as the 150 gave my 225 gallons so uh, that's a bit of a treat the other, the other day i went to the dollar tree and i bought a bunch of supplies that i could use for different types of filters so one being my butter tank sumps i have and i bought a clothes basket now this is going to work because i want to basically line this with i would use polyfill but if you have an old pillow use that as well so i have an old pillow I have a few old pillows so i am going to basically open this up and i'm going to line this with this pillow cotton next i also want to set it on top of this now you may not have this you can use something else um, anything that just will allow you to have your basket sitting off the ground a little bit that way the water and everything and the water the debris passes through instead of it just sitting there in the basket just a little bit of a help and then also i have i bought another cheap basket now these dollar baskets i mean come on now you took advantage of it all right so that's what we have to do i have some bulkheads i have an inch and a half bulkhead and i have a matter of fact this one is a yeah, this, I have an inch and a half bulkhead and a three quarter bulkhead. Now they're both slip bulkheads. Have some ABS pipe, one and a half inch. You're going to need a couple hole saws. Now the hole saw that I'm using is actually two and a half inch. The reason why I'm using one that's two and a half inch is because I want to make sure that it fits like this so the bulkhead could go through the hole and then i still don't surpass that perimeter if you if your whole bit surpasses that find a different one because you could get some leaks so um that's just my my theory you know essentially it's a lot higher than you would think you know it has that extra lip but that's just my rule of thumb. I want to make sure that it's a very tight fit around. And then again, this one right here is actually an inch and a half, but it fits perfect. It's going to fit perfect. Just like that. All right. So uh, this should be fun. I have some scrap materials that I'm going to use. You know, I'm a big fan of using scrap, repurposing things, giving things a new life. That being said, I had a scrap door that I cut up, used on my on my little uh, scrap cart right there. Now I am going to use it on top of this guy right here to hold this sump, because this is heavy. This is gonna be strong enough to support it. Now, we, we do understand that's wood, so I also have some more scrap piece of plastic that literally will sit just like this protecting that wood tape the center you know i mean just repurposing things so that's what you got to do uh so again we have the 150 right here we have the dovi feste fry these guys are exploding in size we're going to set up another 75 gallon down here with some more of these dovi fry i think basically we're just going to fill up the aquariums that's empty with the dovi fry and let them grow out a little bit and then you know Y'all gonna get some fry. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get started with this video. 
we already started with the video. So let's go ahead and figure out the first thing that we need to do, which is probably fill this thing up right here. Check it out. All right, so like I said, so let's just go ahead and, uh, and open up this pillow. And you can use whatever you want. I like using, I even used a whole pillow in the, uh, the 800 gallon pine. Matter of fact, why not, right? Might do it again. So when I do it like this, you know, yep, just like that. So when I do it like that, I have the sides covered, the bottom covered. The water is not going to escape around the sides. It has to go straight down. We have all of these right here. These are pot scrubbers. Now, like I said, get them for a buck. You cannot beat that. Now, what I want to do is, I got a couple different ways of doing this, right? This is going to use up a lot. Let's just say we don't want to use all that, right? Let's just say, you know, let's just say I want to do that instead. Get to save all this, right? That's even better, huh? So now, Basically, just put it in there like this. Any way you can. There we go. There we go. The pot scrubbers. I am going to dump the pot scrubbers in the bottom. And then I have also some black lava rock. You could purchase that from a uh, Home Depot. And that's a great media. It's porous, it has denitrifying purposes, qualities. It has denitrifying qualities. So it's a very good media to get. Don't really break down like that. It's gonna withstand time. So what we got? That's nice. I got about four more now. So yeah, so get you these pot scrubbers, you know, a buck. I spent $10 on them. I got about 40 of them. We're going to see what 40 does. I know it don't do that much, but you know what? You at least get to see. I think, look at that. That's 40. That's nothing, right? All right, so a couple options. Like I was saying, I could do something like that. Yep. Try to find a way to wedge it in there. Do I want to do it like that? I don't know if I want to do it like that. Check it out. All right, see? Not quite sure. Not quite sure. All right. Maybe. Like I said, want a ton more pot scrubbers, like 120 of them. Let's get some lava rock in here. All right, so I've already washed this lava rock. preparation of this video so that being said let's just go ahead and uh fill up this basket with it now it takes a lot of washing to get this clean i'll tell you that right now but it's necessary in my opinion if you don't want to wash it by all means don't I understand all right look at that got a whole basket of lava rock let's 
good. All right, so now, what else? We want to get some more. I wish I had some more pot scrubbers. I mean, just enough to make a nice perimeter. When you go up to the top line, if you could get enough pot scrubbers to fill it up to that top line, you golden. But since I can't, maybe I'll take some of this. I will. I don't know. Maybe I will. And go around it anyway. I want to hold that basket in place as best as I can. There we go. Maybe that's better anyway, who knows. Now, I wanna tell you this before I let you see this. It don't always have to be pretty. I don't care who telling you otherwise, it don't always have to be pretty. It just needs to work. A lot of the times, the most efficient things may not look the best. Don't have to look the best. It just has to work. All right, so I got the lava rock in there. Do I want to put in another basket? I have some other baskets right here. Oh, wow, I can. So I will put in another basket. Make sure you get off these tags. So, that being said, I got, I skipped this tag. So make sure you get the tags off. They come off easy, that's good. Is there one on this one too? Still caught it. Still caught it. All right, now slide that back in. I like that a lot better, that's good. Like I said, we gonna hit it. In, we gonna hit another basket, lava rock. So you could do this with whatever media you have, not just lava rock. I mean, if you have any other kind of media that you want to use, ceramic rings, uh, uh, bio balls. I mean, whatever. K one. I mean, just whatever you want to use. I'm just using the stuff that I have, and the stuff that's relatively affordable just like that that's 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 solid right there that's solid okay now i'm really happy with this i'm really happy with this there we can I do it like that nope i can't uh, got one more little compartment where i could just pack full of media um whatever like maybe this one everything's gonna fall out though man ah you know what i'm gonna find something to go in there let me show you what i'm talking about though check it out you see what i mean look at that area so i still could fit tons of media all up in there i want to keep that open though just so the water could flow freely through there once all of the water passes through here it has to go through those uh pot scrubbers right there it has to go down through there and then it's going to come back up and then it's going to start coming up through these baskets now i just need to get something in this area right there but that's the beauty of these diy filters i mean it's whatever you make it look at this one up here let me show you how this one even looks right now Look at that. Matter of fact, that media right there is going to go into that space. Check out all the fry. Starting to color up. You see the cheeks, how the cheeks are turning a little bit blue. There's some big ones in here too, for sure. All right, let's go ahead and finish this up, though. All right, so the next thing I need to do is drill these holes real quick and then get it into position. I need to figure out where I actually want to put it at. All right, so uh, let's go ahead. I'm not going to cut that one off yet. I'm not ready for that. Go ahead and drill this. 
It's that easy. That easy to pull out everything. Done. Done. That's what I'm saying. Pretty easy, right? It won't be once I drill it up, though. All right, let's see. So where do I want? All right, all right. We're going to have this thing sitting up here just like this. In the back, we, uh, I'll, okay, so I'm gonna come in through the front and then I'm gonna uh, come out the side. Yep, yeah, that'll do it, just like that. So now what I need to do is I gotta figure out the height that is going to be. All right, now, we're going to come in with this little guy right here. Got the PVC, bam, just like that, good. All right, so we're coming in with this one. All right. I guess right there probably be better. Hey. Now we just got to figure out the level for the outtake. Now, that right there should be very simple. I don't want to have too much water, too much weight, but I do want to have it covering that, all the media. That being said, we're going to put this one in. I'll show you in a minute. I'm gonna go high, a little high. Yep, that's easy. Let's drop you down low, flip you around. So for this one, the media is about right there. So, That's almost a no-brainer. All right, I'm going around right there with it. Media completely covered. All right, there. Let me go ahead and... Now that right there, y'all, was some BS. Tell you that. Now I got to pull that out. Well, I don't know if you caught that, but... The bit broke. Damn thing. Sorry. Right. It's completely fine. Let's go ahead and finish up with, with drilling that on out. So since I lost that. All right, so if that was to happen, take a screwdriver and just spin it, get it off. And the way to release that bit, take a little Allen wrench, release it. But I got this other one right here that I could use. So I'm happy about that. Let's go ahead and get this one on there. Just like that. Got a new one on. Let's go ahead and finish up. All right, done deal. All right, so now we got a lot of bird in there. Not that much, good. Not that much, but still got to wipe it out.
All right, you see? All that's cleaned out. You see? All right. There we go. Got the opening right there. Let's go ahead and put that one in. So we're just gonna remove the nut, make sure the gasket, the washer is on the inside. And uh, if you have to, so then look, check it out. See how I wanna make sure it's lined up so I can see gasket all around. I don't want no gap. I want it as centered as I could possibly get it. That's, that's important. So that's good right there. That way you will ensure that the gasket is covering the whole entire hole. All right, got one on. Let's go ahead and uh, and put this one on right here. All right, this thing is old. It's kind of crunchy. It's all old and old looking. It's not supposed to be old. Bought it brand new, but whatever. Anyway, there we go. See now that one, look at that, that's real nice. All you see is just the rubber gasket, which is perfect. So let me go ahead and uh, just go ahead and get this back on there real quick. And when you tighten these, you can go, I recommend hand tight. But if you have some channel locks and you want to give it a nice little small quarter turn, it's not even really a quarter turn, just, just a little bit more, you can. All right, let me get this on here. All right, so like I was saying, just a little, yeah, about a quarter turn. That's, that's good right there. And then this one, same deal, this is a big one. Yep, that should be it. So now we got it plumbed. Now, let's go ahead and fill this up with everything. I don't believe it's gonna be any leaks. You would typically do a leak test now. So now I just gotta get the rest of the plumbing in, into place. I'll get this lava rock in here. All right, so now, let's see how much pipe I really need. Got another bulkhead. All right, so this one, it's all right there. looking good let's see how that's gonna work all right you see so we got it tapped in it's gonna come straight down go into the basket let's see how we gonna make the rest of this work though all right so I now I just need to make sure that it could actually get into the basket Okay, so that being said, all right, can move out some of these scrubbers. That's what I needed to see. Gotta re 
evaluate how I'm doing this. Like I said, as long as I got a nice amount on the bottom, nice layer. Get that up under there. Perfect. Oh, that's perfect. There we go. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Get some of these scrubbers around it like I want it anyway. It's kind of forcing me to. And then I still can put the rest of this around it. It's good. That's looking good. Watch when you see it. You might not think it look good, but it looks good to me. I know this is going to work, work really well. And that's what I'm concerned about. I want it to work really well. All right. All right, so we are covered everywhere right here. That's it. That's it. All right, so now here's here's the pump that I plan on using. Yeah, I probably use this one. So that pump, gotta figure out how we're gonna go from there to there. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, that's how. All right. So, this is what I plan on doing with this. I'll cut, I'll cut this piece right here. Now let me just show you what I'm about to do. First, I'm gonna cut this. We're gonna come into this side right there with this one. Probably cut off maybe like, like three inches. All right, so I can't find my cutter. So I'm forced to use this saw. It is what it is. If you have a good saw though, you should be able to get through that, uh, that PVC pretty quick. All right, so now, clean it off, clean it off. Now, what I plan on doing is, I know I have another, another 90, good. So now I'll come down with that one. Yep, like I said. Just like that. I'm gonna come down with this one. And I'm gonna to have to cement that for sure. I definitely have to cement that piece. So then it's gonna come down. It's gonna change it to this pipe right here. Just like this. And all of this is gonna be glued. And it's it just like this in the water column. Just like that. All right, and then as far as coming out, easy enough, we'll take it to about, nothing too crazy. I'll just take off a couple inches. Maybe like four. off rinse it off if you want whatever you want to do got this little 90 just like that all right 
So now I need to go ahead and glue everything. Now this is optional, but I realized that when you don't glue, you get a leak. So I'm gluing. I'm gluing before I do a leak test. That's that's kind of risky, but uh, if you have faith in what you did, make sure you did it right the first time, then go ahead and glue. I'm about to glue this. So I'm gluing. I glue all of them. I glue all of them, except for this one. And in fact, I will glue it. All right, so let's go ahead and glue everything. Even, nah, I don't have to glue the inside though. But other than that, so we're gonna glue everything real quick. And we almost there. I, you don't have to prime. You can go ahead and just hit it with the glue. Believe that. All right, that side. Got that side. And make sure you do this in a well ventilated area. This stuff is strong. You don't want to be breathing that stuff in. Also, keep it off your hands if you can, too. All right. Last two connections. Now, I'm not gonna glue it into there yet. I'm gonna do that last. How's it going, babe? Food ready? Uh, it's a long video, but it's all right. Oh, trying, recording. recording, trying to get this done. It's a busy. It's, a, it's really some, almost there, almost there. Love you. All right. Okay, so now I got everything glued. There's no going back. So, you know, we're going to pass that leak test for sure. Uh, next, like I said, once we put this, once we put this little piece of door up there, we'll go ahead and remove this one, get this one out the way. I'm just not ready to disconnect that until I'm ready to immediately connect that. So we, that's what we're waiting on. I plan on taking this filter off of here and, I'll, and I plan on putting it onto one of the 125s. More than likely I'll do it on the one that's on the bottom because I don't have any fish in there right now. So, you know, I don't have to disturb the bacteria, things like that. But, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll throw it on the top one right now. Nonetheless, there's going to be some upgrades. I plan on putting this on to one of the 125s, taking the one that's on a 125, put it on a 55. That's going to free up two filters. I'm going to drop one of the filters down to the, to the 60 gallon, put the other one over here on the 75 gallon. So, matter of fact, I also got the set, got the, uh, the one that's in the house that I plan on taking off of there. Matter of fact, I put that one on here. You know, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot going on. That's a lot that needs to be done. So make sure that subscribe button is hit. Make sure that notification no, make sure that notification bell is hit. And if you are and if you are enjoying the video, hit that like button. So let's go ahead and finish this up. Where are we at with things? We need to let I said we gotta let this dry a little bit. Gotta let this dry a little bit. And then uh so let's pull this off. We're running out of things to do. All 
I really enjoy that filter right there because it just has a groove going down the center where you could put either a two by four or a two by six. That really helps, that helps a lot. All right, so I need to move this off. They think they about to eat. Nah, no, y'all about to get upgraded. Filter, upgrade. That's what you got coming. There we go. Put that in there just like that. It's gonna come down in one little, you know? It's gonna come down the right way. Tilt this up a bit. All right, this bad boy is light. I like it. Loading two by six. I don't care. All right, let's go ahead and uh, put this back up here. So, like I was saying, with the with this door. Just like that. There we go. And then I'll put these right here under it. That way I could still use my light. That's important. Usually when I have these big filters up here, it gets in the way of my lighting. Ah, there we go. Get this one on here. Just like that. Okay, all right, perfect. That's good, it's on there. Light on there, check this out. Yeah, check it out, check it out. Let's go ahead and uh, fix that. Ain't perfect, I thought it was. You exposed it. There we go. Expose some imperfections. I'm glad. But nonetheless, we are pretty much up there. That's good. In my opinion, that's good. All right, so I need to let that cement dry. So while that's drying, let's go ahead and, uh, and figure the rest of this out. So I do have some more room, like I was saying, for more of this media, and then I have these baskets. So, let's go ahead and put these sponges on the bottom, right? I'm gonna put the sponges on the bottom, and then that way, the media don't have no choice, the water don't have no choice, but to come up through the sponges in the media. Just like that. All right, plenty of room, tons of room. All right, so now, Let's go ahead and get this bad boy into place. Just like that. All right. Now, 
I'm not going to glue this one, but we're going to drop this bad boy into that water. Yeah. Got a little splashy splash over here. That's that garbage can for. All right. There we go. Just like that. I could actually cut that. Yeah. I'm actually going to cut this. You know what? No, I'm not. I might actually want to leave it long. So yeah, just like that. All right. Now let's go ahead and see what we're we working with over here. Got to wait till it dry. Let's see how far is that going to come out. I can bring it up closer. Bring it back. All right. So, let's go ahead and, uh, and finish this up. All right, so now, Let's go ahead and uh, dry fit this real quick. It's right there in the front. Don't really like that at all. But it is what it is. See, like I said, sometimes it don't have to be pretty. So, all right, it could just be what it is. So we do got to glue this last one, right? So remember, that's just assuming that everything is straight. We're going to make that assumption, aren't we? I also hope this filter, I mean, this pump, is working the way it's supposed to work. No issues whatsoever. All right. Well, it's no turning back now. No turning back. It's no turning back. All right. So that's that. And I'm glad I found this other bulkhead because we got work to do. So with this filter, like I said, this one is going to go on to one of the 125s over there. And then, uh, yeah, I'll be right back with you. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get that, that water test going. Go ahead and see if we're going to get any leaks. Water is going in. I like it. I like it so far. No leaks. I was worried about that one. That was the most recent one that I just sealed. Looking good. That's what I'm talking about. So we're not going to be able to see whether or not it's leaking over here until we get past those baskets. But look at that. That's what I wanted. Going down all of that. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. 
And we golden. No leaks. We good. Look at that. No leaks going down the side of this at all, whatsoever. It's all good. Golden, baby. Come on now. Yeah. Oh, we'll see if there's leaks once the water starts coming out. Almost there. Almost there. Yep, you see how the water is see how the water is coming up through the media? That's what I was talking about. Come on, we almost there. Almost there. A lot of water. It's a lot of water. It's looking a little nasty. Hard to believe that that was the rock that was already in there. The red lava rock. The black lava rock is clean. All right, we almost there. Look at that. Doing what it's supposed to do not even going to hit any of that but in case it does we protect it almost there see if we got any leaks no leaks there we go it's what just the moment that we all been waiting on come on let's do it Zoom in, let's go. Right there. Right there at the edge and three, two, one. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's a little noisy. Or it was. Any leaks? No leaks. Look at the little flow. We got flow. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Look at that. Woo! Let me grab this. Let me grab this little, little burr. So this bad boy is trying to float. So let's go ahead and... uh. It's not gonna float though, it can't. But yeah, nonetheless. Nonetheless, let's get that lid on there. We are golden. No leaks anywhere. I can add some water back into this tank, but this filter is massive. Massive. Look at that. That's what I wanted what I wanted. Let's cover it up. Alright, so let's go ahead and cover this bad boy up and uh, wrap up this video. It's been a long one. I appreciate you all for sticking through and watching. I appreciate the support. Let's go ahead. And... There we go. And I love being able to cover up the filters like that. Just, it's done. Like I said, I'll probably add some water tomorrow. I got to clean it. You know, I'm not going to add it right now. It's late. Don't really matter. I'll clean it first and then uh, top it on off. And this is, this, is, this is really good. So tomorrow, I'll probably do that with you all. And then we'll also put that filter that I just took off of the 150. We'll put it on one of the 125s. And we'll do some other things in here. But uh, that about, that's about it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you were inspired by something. I hope that something I presented in this video was a helpful tip, something that you could use. If that's the case, if you are new here, subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification bell. You don't want to miss any of my uploads. 
and everybody if y'all really mess with me or if you enjoyed the video or anything i've listed above hit that like button for me i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video have a good night peace